In today's video, we're going to take a look at a common source amplifier as shown in this photo. So why is it called a common source amplifier? We must understand that we're using a MOSFET. This is a three terminal device that has a gate, source, and drain. It is called a common source amplifier because the source is the only terminal without the input or output voltage. In any amplifier circuit, we need to use our key equations such as gain. Our gain equation relies heavily on G sub M, or transconductance of the MOSFET. Therefore, it is necessary that we use this derived equation for GM. We can replace much of this equation with a MOSFET characteristic value called KP. Alright, now that we're here in LT Spice, let's begin to put together our common source amplifier circuit. So let's start with our voltage source, which is our signal right here. This is going straight to ground. This is going to come up in this fashion, and we're also going to have a type of source resistance right here. We're going to need a capacitor right here as well to block any DC voltage coming from our bias. Then we have a wire coming to our MOSFET. In LT Spice, you can press P on the keyboard to bring up a number of parts. I'm going to be using an NMOS here, and the model I'm going to be using is the 2N7002. Alright, now that I have my MOSFET right here, we can take a look at the three terminals on our MOSFET. We have our gate, our drain, and our source. In our model, our source is going straight to ground. So let's put this straight to ground right here. Then we're going to have a wire coming up in this direction. We're going to put a resistor right here, and we're going to label this RD for our resistor at the drain. Now in this common source amplifier, our output is coming from the drain right here. I'm going to label this out so that we know it is our output. Now in most of these problems as well, you're probably going to have some sort of load resistor. So I'm going to put a load resistor right here. And this is going to be going straight to ground, and we can label this RL. So now that we have most of our common source amplifier configuration put together, we need a way to amplify our signal. In order to amplify our voltage signal, we're going to need a voltage source right here. Let's create a voltage source going straight to ground, and let's make this a 10 volt DC source. We can then attach a wire coming over here right to our drain of the MOSFET. Now, in order to control our gate to source voltage, which is our voltage from here minus here, we're actually going to need a voltage divider. So let's create that right now. We need a resistor here and one here as well. And then we can just connect our wire directly through. This goes straight to ground. And let's make sure this node is connected as well so we don't have any weird behavior. Now, this is our common source amplifier configuration. Now we just need to determine what values for our resistance we need and what value we need for this capacitor. Taking a look at our circuit, we have quite a few unknowns. Let's pull up our known equations and see what we can do. We first see that there is no resistor attached to the source of the MOSFET. Therefore, the denominator of our gain equation will break down. To solve for RD, we can set up our Ohm's law equation. If we set our voltage equal to 5, so that our signal is centered between 0 and 10 range, we can acquire an equation for ID. We can then plug these values into our equations and simplify. Let's keep in mind that in this problem, we make a simplifying assumption that our output impedance, which is in parallel with RD, is nearly infinite. Thus, we only care about our RD value. After obtaining our final gain equation, we can plug in a gain that we want, let's say 30, and we can solve for our RD. Alright, taking a look at our model once again, you can see I filled in some of these values. So our RD is 530 ohms, which is our previously calculated value. I also put in a resistance here, a capacitance here, and our sinusoidal source, as well as our load resistance. So the only thing we need to solve for now is our voltage gate to source here, and that is our voltage divider. So what do we want our VGS to be? Well, taking a look at this MOSFET right here, its voltage threshold is 1.6 volts. In order to get a good amplifier, 
we need to stay in the active regime. In order to stay in the active regime, our gate to source voltage needs to be greater than our threshold voltage, which is 1.6. We also need to make sure that our drain to source voltage is greater than the gate to source voltage minus our threshold voltage. That means we want our gate to source to be fairly close to our threshold, which is 1.6. So how would we get a gate to source voltage right here that's close to about 1.6? So taking a look at our DC voltage here of 10 volts, we can make this resistor value quite large. Let's make this one mega ohm. And then here, we're gonna be dropping tons of voltage across this resistor, which means this resistor needs to be a little bit smaller so that we can get about two volts, 1.9, 1.8, around that range right here. So you can run a number of sweep commands here. This is a step param. You can put this R right here in curly braces in this style in order to sweep through these resistances. That will allow you to see the voltage given these different resistances with these steps. For example, in this command, I would be stepping starting at 100 kilo ohms and going up to one mega ohm in 100 kilo ohm increments. For the purposes of this video, I already did these step commands, so we're gonna take a look at the actual value. So the actual value that I ended up solving for to get the correct VGS to get a gain of 30 ended up being 246.5 kilo ohms. So if we run this in the simulator, we can take a look at our output voltage compared to our input. Our V out over our V in is going to give us our gain. Looking at our measure commands right here, if we press control L, you can see the gain of our amplifier, which happens to be 30.19. So that gives us our amplifier with a gain of exactly 30. That is exactly what we wanted for this common source amplifier. And this is how you do it.